Lake of the Woods is no doubt one of the best walleye fisheries in the Midwest. Whether fishing open water or on the ice, the fish are most often pretty cooperative. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Lindy Fishing Tackle, Stryker, and L&M Fleet Supply. There is. Oh, geez. I missed him, Jeff. I worked hard to get him to bite. It's not over. Here he comes again. There he is. Got him that time. Feels like a decent fish, I think, bud. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Boy, there was a bunch of them came in here. Oh, yeah. We got keeper walleye. Come here, buddy. Look at that. That was just a pile of fish came in. And that 13 incher, he had he had friends with him. There's a there probably still a few around. Why don't you give me that pliers? Let's get this guy unhooked and I'm gonna dump him in the pail. Just switch to a quiver spoon and just put a different action down there. Sometimes all it takes is these fish, you know, when you're fishing this basin type stuff like what we're fishing, they may be nearby. And you just drop something different down there and all of a sudden that trips are triggered and they come roaring in like that guy did. We can find another one. Oh, look at this. Look at that. This, I turned and I looked and Jeff, this rod was tipped down. Like, yeah, I just, whoa. <laughs> Stay in the house. <laughs> look at this. Look at that. He was riding along with him and that's a great sauger right there. <laughs> I was going for a blooper reel. I almost pulled the bill dance and fell over backwards. <laughs> You know, when you're on Lake of the Woods, that's a bonus fish. And, and that's a great eater size sauger right there. Whenever you can get into these, you know, 13 inch saugers, that fish right there, he's a bonus. Today we are fishing out of Zippo Bay Resort on the south shore of Lake of the Woods. Weather conditions are stable with temps in the mid 20s and light winds. We're fishing in 28 feet of water with Lindy quiver spoons, glow spoons, and rattlin flyer spoons. Got him? Yep. All right, there's a lot of fish here all of a sudden. Holy yeah, smokes. Just lit up. Yep, there's piles of them in here right now. The graph is just lit. What do you got? Sauger. Good. Keeper sauger, too, huh? Like Would you get that one on? Glow spoon. Yep. <laughs> you know what? When it comes down to it, that catches a lot of fish, doesn't it? We're out at Zippo Bay Resort today, and one of the other things I'll tell you about this area, there's phenomenal pike fishing in here, too. And, and guys will come up and what they'll actually do for you is they'll set up a whole area for you to pike fish. They'll plow lanes out, they'll pull houses like this in there so you've got a warming house. And man, some of the biggest pike you'll ever see get caught up here. This is one of the last true blue trophy pike opportunities that exist. Here he comes hot, got him, yep, yep, good fish. I, uh, no, but a bucket fish, I bet. Holy smokes, he just, he was coming on a rail. Really nice walleye. Coming on a rail, nice fish. Look at that. Look at that. Man, he just attacked that quiver swim. I saw him coming. I want to give you a little tip too on how to work this bait. Because this bait right here, as soon as I switch to this today, I'm getting bit. This is a... Lindy Quiver Spoon, I'm fishing the eighth ounce size. It's one of those baits that just flat out does something different than everything else out there. Yeah. When you jig this bait up, it'll go up and it's got a little bit of turn to it. So it'll move and it'll give you that little bit of outside of the hole. But then what it'll do is it'll roll on its side for the fall and it'll swim back down, rolling back and forth like that. So you're getting the, the glow color up on the front, but then you're getting that flash on the back. But what I'm doing to get these fish to bite, it's really changed our bite for the day. Fishing's been a little slow and you could feel it this morning. A lot of lookers coming in, looking, not getting them to bite. What I finally started doing was fishing really aggressive. And if you watch my rod tip, I'm banging it around and I'm lifting and I'm moving it around a lot when I see fish. All I'm doing is just angering them. And, and this is the kind of spoon that when you do that, when you're doing that, this spoon's just dancing around down there and it gives that impression of a wounded bait fish, maybe a bait fish trying to get away, throws that color at him, throws a little bit of flash at him and just triggers a strike. Any day of the week, no matter where you're fishing, that's good stuff.
John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by these fine sponsors. I just reeled up to check to see if I had a minnow to figure out why in the world this fish wouldn't bite. And he, he about took the bobber rod down the hole. <laughs> another good one too. This will be another bucket fish. Let's see what we got going on here. Where are you at, buddy? Oh yeah, nice walleye. Sauger, just a good sauger. Look at that one. That's why you always have a dead stick. I'm just using a little frosty jigging spoon underneath a, a thill float on that dead stick and gives you something to glance over at. Here they come, kind of hot. A couple of them coming in. There we go, I got one on the dead stick. You know, when you set your dead stick just a couple inches off the bottom like this, they'll come along and grab it, and that float is literally... Barely moves. Yeah, I mean, an inch under the water because you're setting that dead stick so close to the bottom. That's one of the things I'll tell you that I do. I like to set the dead stick right down there, right down on the bottom. And then what I do is I jig higher. If you watched when I'm jigging the quiver spoon on the sonar unit, you'd see that the, the dead stick is just a couple inches off the bottom, and then I'm jigging about a foot off the bottom. And when I see fish, I lift up even higher. I mean, I really try to keep them moving. In fact, I got one in on it right now, and I'm now lifted up to 22 feet trying to get him to come up. Let's see what we got. Good one? Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Might be a pale fish. You got one on? Yeah. What do you mean I won't believe it? <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> yeah, I think mine will go in the bucket. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Why not? get him up here. There we go. <laughs> a little bit of extra trouble, but that's okay. He'll go in the pail. Another one of those 12, 13 inch saugers. Add them to dinner. What'd you have over there? I got a little one. All right. Almost like clockwork, Zippel Bay Resort owner Nick Painovich stops in and the screen lights up. And in turn, Jeff sets the hook on a solid fish. Yeah. Do you got him? Yeah. Atta boy, is that a good fish? Yeah. I had a feeling that that was gonna be a good fish just the way you looked on the screen. I'm gonna come over here and get them for you. you. You got a good fish, don't you? This was so cool, Nick's in visiting us, just making sure, these guys come and they check on you every day, making sure everybody's, ooh, nice walleye, big fish. Just get him turned, come on, got him. Good job, buddy. Look at this. This right here is what you can do in a Zippo Bay rental house, look at that. How cool is that? This is just a day house and you know, we're sitting out here, we're catching these fish that we're filling the pail with, but this is the beauty of this deal right here, is that you have a shot every single day on Lake of the Woods at fish like that. Man, that's a fun fish through the ice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. worth waiting for that. Worth waiting for that one. <laughs> that's great. Let me see what we can do here to get him unhooked. Right. Look at that awesome walleye. It's a Zippo Bay walleye. It's magic. He, <laughs> Nick shows up. I do that one back. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Look at that. How cool is that? What a beautiful fish. Nice fish, my friend. Right. You send him right back down the hole. Great fish. You know, I've been coming to Zippo Bay Resort for well over 25 years, and it's always been one of my favorite places, both summer and in the ice fishing season. Fishing's great, accommodations are awesome, it's a tough place to beat. Before we go today, though, I wanna tell you just a little bit more about Zippo Bay Resort. In the winter months, Zippo Bay Resort on Minnesota's Lake of the Woods offers world-class ice fishing. Fish houses in various sizes are available, including both day and sleeper houses with wide plowed road access, allowing you to fish throughout the day on your own schedule. Walleye, sauger, and trophy pike swim this area of the lake and the ice crew keeps the houses on the bite. 
Back on shore, Zippo Bay Resort offers deluxe log cabins and housekeeping cabins that can handle groups from small to large while providing all the amenities you could ask for. You'll also find fish cleaning facilities, a bar and restaurant, as well as an office that offers bait, tackle, snacks, and anything else you can think of. The world famous On the Ice Igloo Bar is a must-see experience and wheelhouses are welcome with lanes plowed and ready to go. Man, that was a fun day of fishing with Jeff. If you're looking for a great place to go ice fishing, check out Zippo Bay Resort at zippobay.com and be sure to check back next week for another great episode of John Thielen's Destination Fish. Closed captioning for John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by l and Fleet Supply. John Thielen's Destination Fish has been brought to you by these great sponsors.